Journalist and author the Spaniard Manuel Lorenzo Garrido became the first blessed journalist in history. Lolo, as his friends called him, wrote hundreds of articles and books despite his paralysis from 22 years of age until 51. He really was a hero who overcame each difficulty. He could not write with his right hand. He wrote with the left. My pencil falls, let them attach it to me. I cannot write with neither of my hands. I'll use a tape recorder. At the University of Life, as he said, the professor is a man who lives in suffering and lives it in a happy manner because he has known Jesus Christ. He was a journalist in a wheelchair, a journalist who put the typewriter near the Eucharist in the altar that the bishop allowed him to put it in his house so he could go to Mass. And he put that typewriter in front of the Eucharist, like he said, so that from those keys a vision of Christ would become reality. In 1936, he was 16 years old, with seven brothers and without a father, when the Spanish Civil War started. At that moment, he became the person in his town who secretly distributed communion. Six years later, he joined the army and every morning escaped to attend mass. In the barracks, he formed 12 groups of Catholic action. He was a member of the group since age 10, but soon he got sick and left. One year later, in 1943, he was completely paralyzed. The process of getting him to bed took a long hour and another long hour to wake him up, and he was constantly in pain. Without fail, he spoke about anything that was happening at that moment, of the road maintenance, soccer games, of anything, as if nothing bothered him. I remember how we intensely lived the Eucharist with him, and that moment of thanks in which the world stopped. All of us stopped, and I still remember that profound silence. In 1956, he founded an association, Sinai, in which a convent of nuns and 12 patients promised to pray for a newspaper. Two years later, in 1958, he traveled to Lourdes with his sister, a moment that made a significant impact on his life. Between the 60s and 70s, he continued his work as a writer, even though in the last years he was blind. In 1971, he died. His sister and the priest, Rafael Ilgueras, were at his side, and they fulfilled his last wish to celebrate Mass at the very moment of his death.